Hello everyone, today we will talk about transiting Saturn. Transiting Saturn passes through the second house. How transiting Saturn behaves in the second house depends on the position of the second house. This transit may be more prominent in your life if you already have planets in the second house or aspects to the owner of the second house. But the basics are as follows. Being realistic with finances and material security and building solid financial foundations is what is on your mind now. You will rely only on the safe side and save more than spend. The need for stability and achievement is great, it affects your material security, resources, and values. In the second house, you now begin to give shape and structure to the discoveries you made about yourself when Saturn was in the first house, begin to spend less time thinking about yourself and who you want to be, and put in some serious hard work. So the balance of your efficiency, self-worth, and finances will all be marked by hard work. Saturn will teach you skills in the field of finance. You will be more focused on money budgeting, and financial responsibility. Although for some this will also be a period of austerity or even strict budgeting, especially if they have neglected their obligations and used up their resources in the past. Now is the time to think about your material life, to redefine your real needs thanks to your current ability to exploit your own resources. You will reorganize your finances, save and invest. Now is the chance if you want to be productive, go out into the world and achieve something real, even make some money. You are now entering a period of stabilization and consolidation of your identity. This is exactly why this is the ideal time to build a secure foundation for operating in a world based on your true values and your own stability. But first you need to identify what those values actually are. The purpose of this transit is to establish a connection between your own feelings of self-worth and what you produce in the real world, that is, what you give back to the real world. As with all Saturn transits, we will initially reach out and seek validation from the outside world and from others, and find what is missing in it. Therefore, it is not uncommon for you to experience financial challenges during this period that can cause you to feel insecure. However, it is crucial not to let these fears dominate your life. Instead, use this opportunity to shift your focus towards restructuring your internal value system. By doing this, you will overcome any unhappiness or dissatisfaction you may have with your material possessions. The transit of Saturn through your second house is a long-term transit that lasts about two and a half years, more or less depending on the size of the house. During this time of self-evaluation and determination of what is valuable to you, your efforts will be rewarded. If you may have felt unloved or unappreciated until now, then it is very important to appreciate yourself right now. Although the beginning of this transit gives a sense of financial insecurity, even if you are not actually financially strapped, you have a feeling of worry because something could happen, and you want to insure yourself with the best possible pillow. But the realistic chances of something actually happening are usually much, much lower during this transit. Saturn feels extremely comfortable in the second house. Frequent and bad indicators of a negative Saturn stay in the second house are mostly irresponsible behavior towards property before Saturn's entry into the second house, and people who are under the sign of Aquarius have similar experiences due to very bad investments when Saturn is present. But one of the most noticeable trends of that bad transit is financial pressure and worry. Regardless of your financial situation or position, it is not out of place to tighten your belt during this transit. Saturn will help you gain insight into the way you have structured your life and whether your values reflect what you are really worth. Therefore, during this transit, 
you should evaluate your financial resources to get an insight into the real situation and possibilities. Because when you approach the reality of your financial situation with the need to plan for the future and develop longer-term security for yourself, when you spend enough time restructuring your finances and finding ways to increase your spending power, you will change the way you earn a living or invest, and start a new business or practice new skills that will help you get a better job or earn more. Financial success will not be extraordinary, but in general it will be very stable, although stability is slow to come, once it settles down it will certainly perform its function. Often this journey focuses on material values, but it will also encompass the moral aspects of your life. Saturn is always introspective and judgmental allowing you to discern the difference between what society deems important and what resonates with your authentic self. Therefore, feel free to consider this transit as an invitation to delve deeper into your fundamental desires and aspirations. Take time to think about what you really need, and what brings fulfillment and satisfaction. As you clarify your true desires, so you will gain a sense of clarity now? and purpose aligning your outer actions with your inner values Listen, what the hell are you doing? You know that so what is it me. that you truly want right. yes, take no, this course, moment to pause joking. and ask yourself <laughs> this question think about the importance you attach to material goods in relation to the core values that drive your choices when you examine all of this you will move forward with greater awareness and intention creating a life that reflects your true essence